Hey guys, well here's the hoping that your day is going even better than mine. Well, guess what? On the one-on-one -on -one show, I have got a force that deserves to be reckoned with. She's beautiful, she's stylish, she's experienced, and most importantly, she can sing. I'm so, so glad to have her here today because I feel like us females, or well, me and her, we definitely deserve to make huge moves in Nigeria, and that's exactly what she's doing. It's the beautiful and delectable Miss Shay Shay. Do you know something? I'm yeah. never actually nervous when I'm doing my thing, but you know, like you here, I feel a little bit like, woo! Need, need to impress, need to impress. Oh, <laughs> You're so stunning. Thank you. So are you. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I've seen you on TV before. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> I watch you. Oh, thank you. And I've seen you perform and you are amazing. Thank you. And I'm not washing her. She's actually amazing. Thank you. Okay, so before I start the show, I'm really crazy, like I told you before. Mm -hmm. I like to do a little, you know, a relaxation exercise. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is what I do normally, okay. well, behind doors. So I want you to do it with me. Okay. I think you'd be quite good. Okay. Okay, so what you do is just go, woosa, 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 and snap, and snap. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Oh my god. Okay, so back to serious. <laughs> I know that you were in, you've been in the UK yeah. for ages yeah. and now you're finally, I want to know, are you actually back for good? I'm back for good. I was, yes, I, I was born in the, in the UK to obviously Nigerian, Yoruba, predominantly Yoruba parents. Mm -hmm. um, I went to school actually, I went to primary school mm -hmm. in uh, Command in Ikeja in Lagos and I did my primary school there and then I went to Queen's College mm -hmm. for a couple of years before my mom took me back to London. So, yeah. As I said, you're beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yes, you are, you are. Um, obviously, when you moved back to Nigeria, you know, you must have been like the fresh new cake or whatever that people feel they can, sorry to be rude, take a slice. How have men approached you so far? Really? Mm -hmm. You want to go there? I want to go there. How did men treat you when you first got back? <laughs> huh? I want to see if you I, know, I, I want to see know, if our stories you know, match. It's like, being, stories it's like being, it's like being, um, Fresh meat. <laughs> it's just it's fresh meat. Like um, I have a good team yeah. around me, mm -hmm. and um, sorry, I'm laughing because they obviously know. They obviously knew how it would be. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of guys, a lot of boys, a lot of men that want to take your number. Mm -hmm. They want to take you out. They want to do the dirt. <laughs> Some of them think they want to marry you already just by like first seeing you first mm -hmm. off. Um, I assume it's only going to get worse. Mm -hmm. But my team keep me so busy yeah, that I don't even have time. Like my 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 best friend who goes around with me mm -hmm. everywhere. She just takes my phone anyway, so and sometimes she's like a, a little I don't know, bodyguard. Little bodyguard. <laughs> She'll just be like, Psh, go away, like, like literally, like literally to, to some guys. They're like, you know, but she's cool, she's great. And then my label, they just kind of tell me where to where to go, and not where not to go, to try and avoid certain so things, situations. certain situations. But yeah, the guys thing, oh my god. I can imagine. It's crazy. You know how it, how it is. And when you were in the UK, you know, I know that you you were part of a reality TV show. Yes. And that was where you then joined the band. You were the lead singer. Tell us a little bit more about that. Actually. Well, actually, the the band. I joined the band one year after my mom passed away, mm -hmm. and um, it was like. I knew, <laughs> and I, it was something I needed at that time mm -hmm. because I knew that music was what I wanted to do, yeah. and I knew music was what I wanted to do since I was 14. Because, mm -hmm. well, actually earlier than 14, but 14 it was really established mm -hmm. because um, I went to Japan when I was 14. I did this tour with the London Community yeah. Gospel Choir, mm -hmm. came back from Japan on a high, and I said, "Mom, I want to be a singer for the rest of my life." And she obviously didn't want me to do that. She wanted me to be something academic, mm -hmm. um, and I. Years and years and years and years and years while she was alive, we didn't really 
see eye to eye with what it was that I was doing but at least I went to school university then the year she died I was very sad very 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 sad then the next following year um, there was like a national audition to join a girl group mm -hmm. at, called from above and I joined and I became the lead singer and then a year after that Matthew Knowles signed us up mm -hmm. he took us to America we signed with Sony Columbia then we shortly moved to Houston to the house of Darion where we went through boot camp which consisted of dancing and singing and recording every day like round the clock and personal training fitness training every day every day for months and months and months and months and we recorded hundreds of songs and then we were ready to go on tour with Beyonce How was in that? 2009. That was fantastic. 2009, 2010, it was from December into, mm -hmm. Jan kind of into January. And okay. She was touring that whole year though, when we joined the last leg. Nice. And that was fantastic. It was amazing. Okay. So if you were to, you know, describe yourself in three words, what would it be? Or what would they be? Real, just you know, <laughs> just real. <laughs> um, okay, down to earth. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> you chose really easy options. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy. I'm, I'm a happy person. Yeah. I'm and do you feel person. that you're happier now that you've moved back to Nigeria? <laughs> um, hustle and bustle. You like the hustle. And bustle. I am happier. Yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. definitely. Well, it was awesome having you here. Thank you. I enjoyed our interview. Hope I you did. Yes, I did. Definitely. Okay, and I hope we'll see you again on the one-on-one -on -one show. Yes, baby. Yeah. Definitely. I'm looking forward Thank to it. Thank you. And I'm sure that a lot of Shay Shay fans out there are looking forward to it. Thank you. And guys. can I just say, you're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so beautiful, much. Beautiful, beautiful. And so are you. <sighs> Stop washing me. You're just hot. Stop washing me. I'm. S you not please. You guys know <laughs> what I'm talking about. So. Thank you so much. Hug again. Yes. Yay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs>